one to know about the coming of a new baby is the mother. <coughs> but in Jesus' case, it was a little different. Because it was the Father, God the Father, who knew first, who knew about Jesus' birth thousands of years prior to, the, to this event. So as we set the scene for the event that we're looking to celebrate tonight, and anticipating the birth, we're going to recall that there were words from prophets that shared, shared a message about an upcoming event. One of the prophets was Isaiah. We recognize these words. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. The government shall be on his shoulders, and he will be called a wonderful counselor, a mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. The prophet Micah, identifying the place in which this birth, the birth would be taking place, says, But you, Bethlehem, Bethlehem, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. And Jeremiah, when he was speaking to the people as they were held captive by foreign powers, feeling very, very low and oppressed, he gave them words of encouragement, saying, But the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up to David a righteous branch, a king who will reign wisely and do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved. His name will be the Lord, our righteousness. So those words of prophecy on the coming Messiah have created a feeling of expectancy among people. People of those days, and they serve as words of expectancy for us today. They longed for a Savior to come and be the Messiah, even as we long for our Savior to return in full glory now. So as we await, let us sing one stanza, the very first song, um, O Come, O Come, Man. <laughs>
She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus. He will be saved his people from their sins. Mary. Oh, Mary. I had an awesome dream last night. You, you, you said God's angels spoke to you? Well, at first I didn't believe it, but last night he spoke to me too. And guess what, Mary? He said your son would save his people from our, their sins. His name is supposed to be Jesus. I know, I know. Come now, Mary. It's time to plan the wedding. I want you to be my wife before the baby is born. <laughs> So why don't we let the happy couple plan their wedding in peace <laughs> as we sing three stanzas of O Come All Ye Faithful.
Look, Mary, over there is the priest. Let's go make our presentation.
I'm sure he'll find us when he gets hungry. Okay, let's go. Joseph, I'm worried. I thought surely Jesus would get hungry by now. Look, the sun's so high overhead. Do you suppose he got lost in Jerusalem? I think we should go back. Thank <laughs> you. 